Shalom. Shalom to my beloved brothers and sisters and to our beloved new brothers and sisters coming into this faith. That's why it's very important to um to repeat the truth, you know. Repeat the gospel because this truth has to be told, you know. Oh, you never know who is listening. To the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, so we have to always keep on bringing out from time to time that what is very important. And for new people that's coming in, it is very imperative, very important to know that. You have to fear the Lord. First and foremost is to fear the Lord. So first and foremost, I would like to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekakwadash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone. Those are, are our true spiritual teachers that look over us and shalom to our sincere brothers pushing this, this word throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out. And last but not least, shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters sincerely dedicating their lives to this truth you know serving Yahweh Basham Yahweh in all sincerity and in fear it's about the fear that gives you that that drive the fear of the Lord so we have to keep on repeating what this is all about, what this truth is all about. It's about Yahweh Basham Yahshai and the fear, fear, fear of the Lord. Because we all been there before. At one stage we are going to church, but did we really fear the Lord? But when you come into this truth, the real truth, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yashai, you realize that it's all about the fear, the fear of the Lord. And to fear the Lord, you need to follow the law, statutes, and commandments which has been given only to our only to our Lord's special people. All right, it's not for everyone. The law was given only to the Israelites. And that's another very important <clears throat> thing that beginners don't know. They think it's for everyone, but it's not for everyone. It's only for a chosen group of people. <clears throat> All right, so... As we always say, that is the is the, is the faith that saves you. It's the faith, but you need. It's important to keep the law. Okay. And the first scripture I would like to go to, is in First John, chapter three. 
verse 4. And it reads here, Whosoever committeth sin, transgresseth also the law. So that means the law is important. For sin is the transgression of the law. You see? So that's very important. As you know, we have to have the faith. But it's the law that keeps you grounded. And following the law makes you fear the Lord. Okay? The next one is in Psalms. The book of Psalms. The book of Psalms, chapter 19. And if I may start at 7 to about 9, no, to about 11. The law of the Lord our power is perfect, converting the soul, the testimony of the Lord our power is sure making wise the simple the statues of the Lord our power are right rejoicing the heart the commandment of the Lord our power is pure enlightening the eyes the fear of the Lord our power is clean enduring forever the judgments of the Lord our power are true and righteous altogether more to be desired are they than gold yea than much fine gold sweeter than the honey and the honeycomb moreover by them is thy servant warned it's not for everyone. If you're serving Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you are this. You are his servants. Not everyone is his servant, you, because you're a special group of people, a nation of people. Moreover, by them is thy servant warned, and in keeping of them, there is great reward that ro that reward is for you our beloved brothers and sisters serving Yahweh Basham Yahshai in our truth and in sincerity right the next one is in the book of Joshua The book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that it is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. And what you need to do is to follow the law, statute, the commandments to the best of your ability. Okay? So that is the beginning. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Paraphrasing. All right. I'll get one more in the book 
in the book of in the apocrypha and it's going to be the book of Syrac or Ecclesiasticus 39 verse 1 but he that give his mind to the law of the most high the most high's name is Yahweh and his son is Yahweh Shai and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies all right that's so powerful i said it one more time in the spirit of yahweh basham yoshai basham rikar kodash sirach ecclesiasticus chapter 39 verse 1 but he but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high yahweh basham yoshai basham rikar kodash and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies all right but there's much there's definitely more scriptures to bring out in terms in keeping the law which is very important all right but if you keep the law to the best of your ability that increases your faith yes yeah? they all go hand in hand because you know paraphrasing again is not of the works it's of the faith right but they all go hand in hand so if you keep the law to the best of your ability you have to show the works by keeping the law yes so it's all intertwined keeping the law doing the work yes that increases your faith okay because at the end of the at the end of it it's the faith that's going to save you believing and trusting in Yahweh Basham Yahshai but you have to fear you have to first and foremost is to fear Yahweh Basham Yahshai you have to it is a must For anybody that is new coming in the, into this truth and even to our beloved brothers and sisters we have to keep him being really reminded that it's all about the fear fear in Yahweh by Sham Yahushai hope and pray that this is edifying to who is um who the Lord our power has chosen to to, to, to listen, to take heed of this gospel, this true gospel, which is the only one true doctrine. Shalom.